Meta has just announced Llama 2, a groundbreaking AI paradigm that is transforming everything from chatbot development to code production and content creation. Llama 2 distinguishes itself by cooperation with industry heavyweights and its objective to expand public access to cutting edge AI. With its particular characteristics, this adaptive tool is transforming how we understand language. Let's speak about what makes it unique and why it's significant. Llama 2 is a free and open source AI model that exemplifies Meta's commitment to transparent and ethical AI. Since its debut on July 18th, it has piqued the interest of the AI community. Meta has had a long-standing commitment to language models, beginning with the deep text model in 2015. Over time, they have built models for speech-to-text, conversation, captioning, and text classification. In July 2021, they achieved their objective of building a flexible model for any language profession using Llama. This concept was groundbreaking, but it encountered challenges such as high operational costs and accuracy issues. It learned from massive amounts of data. To address these, Meta produced Llama 2, an enhanced version that is free and optimized for Windows. It marks a substantial development in artificial intelligence, supported by industry heavyweights such as Microsoft and Amazon. Llama 2's large linguistic models come in a range of forms and sizes. The two main types of models are pre-trained models and fine-tuned models. Pre-trained models are basic models that have been trained on a huge quantity of text data. While they may produce text in a number of situations, they are not tailored for any particular usage. Think of them as all-rounders. Fine-tuned models, on the other hand, are created by modifying pre-trained models for a specific purpose, making them more accurate and suited for that activity. They are comparable to specialists. Llama 2 includes three pre-trained models, Llama 27B, Llama 213B, and Llama 270B. These statistics, which vary from 7 billion to 70 billion, show how many variables are present. The human brain, for example, has around 86 billion neurons. Llama 27B is suitable for most devices and is both speedy and small. It is useful for tasks such as question answering and coding, and it supports 128 languages. It also has a context window with a capacity of 4,096 tokens. Llama 213B is a medium-sized library that supports 128 languages and has a context of 4,096 tokens. It operates on devices with standard hardware. In many ways, it outperforms the 27B. Although Llama 270B is the most powerful, it necessitates the use of high-end equipment. Although the context only contains 8,192 tokens, it supports 128 languages. It is useful for many things, yet it may be sluggish or expensive to utilize. Llama 2 Chat is a revised model for chatbots built with the Llama 213B paradigm. It has been trained using over a million human interactions from sites like Reddit, 13 billion self-attention parameters, and a context of 4,096 tokens. It excels at activities that require dialogue and seamlessly shift between languages. Llama 2 operates through self-attention, a strategy for recognizing how pieces of an input relate. Transformers, a neural network design based on self-attention, is also employed. Each layer differentiates between different input patterns, and the changing output encourages creativity, because it may occasionally be off-target. Safety safeguards are in place. One of the primary goals of Llama 2 is to make generative AI more accessible and integrated for everyone. Llama 2 may be used for a wide range of applications and experiments, and Meta wants to provide developers, researchers, engineers, and anyone else interested in artificial intelligence the opportunity to do so. As a result, Meta made it open source and free to use in both research and business. Anyone can request Llama 2 from Meta's website and use it for personal purposes by filling out the request form. You agree to the terms and conditions of Llama 2, as well as the community license agreement and Meta's privacy policy. Because of cooperation between Meta, Microsoft, and Amazon, Llama 2 is now available on Azure and AWS. As a consequence, you don't have to download or install Llama 2 on your device to use it. To access it, just use Microsoft's or Amazon's cloud services, paying only for what you need. Llama 2 works well on Windows for those who want it directly on their PC. It provides more control and safeguards your data. Llama 2 will be available on smartphones powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon CPUs beginning in 2024. Thanks to a collaboration with Qualcomm, as a consequence, artificial intelligence AI, will be possible on mobile devices and interwoven into our daily lives. In a blog post, Meta announced that Microsoft has been chosen as their preferred partner for Llama 2. Microsoft is happy to be Meta's chosen partner as they launch Llama 2 for corporate users. 
Microsoft and Meta, are both committed to democratizing AI and its benefits. So what exactly is Llama 2 capable of? There are several possibilities. You may use Llama 2 to perform a variety of tasks and goals involving the processing and generation of natural language. It's a versatile tool for tasks including constructing chatbots, summarizing material, writing code, producing content like stories or poems, translating languages, and replying to queries. It may also include AI models for sentiment analysis, speech recognition, and computer vision. For example, you might use Llama 2 to produce voiceovers with Meta's speech synthesis model, or Muppet, a captioning model to make picture captions. Several tech behemoths, including Qualcomm and Microsoft, promote and utilize Llama 2. Microsoft has integrated Llama 2 into its Azure and Windows Cloud platforms, as well as applications like Bing Chat. Qualcomm plans to deploy Llama 2 based AI inside its Snapdragon CPUs by 2024. Llama 2, a collaborative initiative, strives to make AI's benefits available to everyone. However, with its abilities come responsibilities. It must be utilized morally and securely. Meta prioritize Llama 2's safety, testing its outputs and making improvements in response to those tests. They've also focused on data and output filtering to ensure the appropriateness of the system's responses. Llama 2 is open source, which means that anybody may view, modify, and use it in order to maintain transparency. Users can obtain detailed documentation to help them better grasp the system. Meta also collaborates with other well-known technology businesses to expand the scope and uses of Llama 2. Meta recommends users use Llama 2 responsibly, be aware of the potential hazards of generative AI, and be respectful of and open about the results. In this way, everyone can utilize Llama 2 safely and morally. Since the introduction of ChatGPT, an incredibly popular AI chatbot by OpenAI last November, tech companies have been scrambling to create models in an attempt to dethrone it. Meta was driving slowly when competitors Microsoft and Google unveiled their AI chatbots in February. Meta made their first, smaller version of Llama available only to academics. It hopes, however, that it'll be able to catch up by sharing Llama 2 and letting anybody construct commercial products on top of it for free. The company offers a variety of AI models, including multiple Llama 2 sizes and an AI model that can be used to develop a chatbot similar to ChatGPT. In contrast to ChatGPT, which can be obtained from OpenAI's website, the model must be downloaded via Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and Hugging Face. Meta's launch partners, the general availability and open accessibility of the powerful Llama model, pose a severe challenge to the current leadership in the burgeoning sector for generative AI software. OpenAI, a well-established startup financed by Microsoft that presently offers its models to commercial clients via Azure, may face competition. Llama's first edition was already competitive with Google's Bard chatbot and OpenAI's ChatGPT models. In response to the efforts of its key cloud competitors, Microsoft intends to offer its corporate clients a menu of AI models from which to choose. For example, in addition to its Titan model lineup, Amazon now offers access to Claude, an AI built by the famous firm Anthropic. Google has claimed that it aims to make Claude and other models available to its cloud customers in the same manner. We anxiously anticipate Llama 2's future advances as it reshapes the AI field. Will it be able to outperform the human brain? What revolutionary uses are on the horizon? The adventure has only just begun. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe for more thought-provoking stuff, and share with your friends. See you again!